Life Stick Right Stick here again with another official Dreams tutorial recording. This is another audio episode and it's about arranging music and manipulating sound from this the timeline. This tutorial is all about making music. Music can make your creations come alive by adding emotion and atmosphere. Music and Dreams can range from a simple looping track to interactive and procedural music. You can compose tracks from scratch and even create your own instruments. But you don't need to be a maestro to start making your own music. In this tutorial, we'll be making music using ready-made music clips. The music you can hear right now was made with music clips. You can use some of these clips to create your own arrangement. To start making music, we need to switch over to sound mode. Right now you're in assembly mode. If you're ever unsure of what mode you're in, just hover over the mode icon in the top right corner to see your current mode and tool. Go to the assembly menu and open the mode section with X. The modes menu is where you access all the different creation modes. Each mode has its own set of tools and options, and the icon for sound mode is a speaker symbol. Select it with X. You now have a new menu at the top of the screen. This is the sound menu. It contains everything you need to make your own music. In the scene, you'll see a timeline gadget. In the next step, I'll show you how to edit it. Music in Dreams is arranged in timelines. This timeline contains a version of the music you heard at the start of this tutorial. But to see what's inside a timeline, we need to open its canvas. Hover your imp over the timeline. Hold L1, then press X to open it. It's just like scoping into a group. This is the timeline canvas. The timeline exists within scene space, so if you pull down on the left stick, you'll back away from it. Hold the L1 button and use the left stick to move up and down the timeline. This is the best way to navigate around timelines especially when they're big ones. This piece of music is called Connie's theme. To listen to it, just play the scene by clicking R3. See how the piece is composed of many music clips. The clips power on and off as the playhead passes over them. Click the R3 button again to pause the scene. Each music clip is a collection of notes made by an instrument. You can grab them and move them around with your imp. If you want to delete a music clip, just press triangle over it. Clips can also be cloned by holding L1 when you grab them. You can extend the timeline by hovering over one of its edges and holding X. The edge glows and an arrow icon appears when you hover over it. You can also extend the bottom if you need space for more clips. Once you've finished listening to the piece, click the L3 button to rewind the scene. You'll find lots of different pieces of music by searching the Dreamiverse. To add music to one of your scenes, you could simply stamp a ready-made timeline like this one. But in this tutorial, you'll assemble your own track from ready-made music clips. Move on to the next step and we'll get started. So, let's start making music. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. Close the timeline by selecting the cross button in the top right corner. Or, hover over it, hold L1 and press circle to close it. Now delete the timeline by hovering over it with your imp and pressing triangle. Let's add a fresh music timeline to the scene. Press square to open the sound menu. Select the music timeline button in the menu, then stamp one in the scene with R2 or X. Press circle to unequip the timeline gadget from your imp. Open up the timeline canvas with L1 and X. This timeline is empty, ready for you to fill it with music. The columns on the timeline represent musical bars. 
This timeline is eight bars long. We'll need more space than that, so hover over the right edge and grab it with X. Extend the timeline to 16 bars. Now let's add a music clip to the timeline. Press square to open the sound menu. Find the search button and select it with X. Its icon is the magnifying glass. In sound mode, search gives you options for finding different types of sounds. Select search music clips with X. The icon looks like some music notes and sliders. This is the Dreamiverse. Here you can find music made by other dream shapers. Well, normally you can, but for this tutorial, I've made a collection of elements for you to use. That's what this cluster is. Select it with X to open it. It contains a selection of music clips that you can use to build your own arrangements. Use the right stick to zoom in and out, and the left stick to move around. I've grouped the clips into different categories. Let's start with a basic melody. That's this group of clips. Hover over the music clips to hear a preview of how they sound. Find one that you like, then select it with X to equip it to your imp. I'm using the clip Nostalgia Bells. Your imp will now be holding a gadget containing your selected clip. If you hover over the timeline, the gadget snaps to the canvas and reveals the whole clip. Place the clip at the start of the timeline and stamp it with R2 or X. Clips on a timeline will snap to the bars and to other clips to help you line them up exactly. Click R3 to listen to the timeline. In the next step, we'll build up the track with some more clips. Build on the melody by adding some chords. Go to the sound menu and select search music clips again. Over here are some chords clips. Hover over the clips to preview them and select one with X. I'm going with suspended pad, but you don't have to copy me if you don't want to. Stamp your clip on a new row of the timeline and snap it to the start. Click R3 to listen and notice how the clips play together in time. Click L3 to rewind the scene. Now let's add some drums. Go back to the sound menu and select search music clips. Find the drum clips in the collection. The drum beat can really change the feel of a track. I love these samba practice drums. Pick a drum clip you like and stamp it on the timeline under the melody and the chords. Now click R3 to hear how that all sounds. All the clips in the collection are in the same time and key, so you can mix and match them. Click L3 to rewind the scene. In the next step, I'll show you how to edit the length of your clips and how to add fades. When you hover over a clip on the timeline, you'll see dotted lines light up on the beginning and end of the clip. Move closer to the timeline so you can see them properly. These are trim handles. We can use them to change the length of a clip. Hover over the handle on the end of the drums clip and hold R2 to grab it. Because these clips are loops, you can extend the clip beyond its original length. All the clips in the collection can be extended like this. Trim handles are really useful for arranging and remixing. They let you use just a section of a clip without having to edit the music notes inside. On top of the trim handle, you'll see a little coloured gizmo. Move in close to see it properly. This is a fade handle. You can use it to fade the volume of a clip in or out. It works just like the trim handle. Grab the gizmo with R2 
and move your imp left or right to create a fade. Try adding a fade out on the chords clips so it drops off gradually. Drag it out further for a longer fade. Now click R3 to play the scene. Doesn't that sound cool? You might have noticed that the music stops as soon as the playhead reaches the end of the timeline. In the next step, I'll show you how to make your timeline loop. To make the track play constantly in the scene, we need to set the timeline to loop. We can do this in the Timelines Tweak menu. Hover over a blank area of the timeline, hold L1, then press square to open its tweak menu. In here, we can change the timeline settings. Find the Playback Mode section. There are three options. Once means the timeline will play once all the way through when it's powered on. Sustain means the timeline will pause when it's not powered, then resume once it's powered on again. Loop means the timeline will play repeatedly while it's powered on. Hover over the loop icon and press X to change the playback mode. You can also change the playback speed in the tweak menu. Hover over the playback speed slider and hold X to grab it. Now move your imp to the left or right to adjust the value. Click R3 to hear your adjustments live. You can also adjust the slider by hovering over it and holding the up and down directional buttons. See how it sounds when it's slowed down or sped up a little. To close the tweak menu, hover anywhere over it and press circle. You can also tweak music clips to make them loop. Just hover over them, hold L1 and press square to open their tweak menus. You can also change their volume and tempo. Be careful changing the tempo though, as your clip could go out of time with the others. We've made a cool piece of music, but you can carry on adding more clips if you want. Maybe you heard something in the tutorial collection that would sound awesome in your arrangement. Try trimming and looping tracks. See what you can come up with. If you need extra space, you can extend the timeline by grabbing the edges with X. Once you're finished, switch over to play mode and listen to your track in the scene. All the clips we've used in this tutorial come from the Media Molecule Music Collection. The collection contains lots of music clips you can use, as well as some complete tracks. Look for it in the Dreamiverse next time you're making music in sound mode. To end the tutorial, just press Options and select the Exit button.